yesterday. Hi all, welcome to SFC Live once again, and uh, I'm John Kelly hosting while Masood does all the technical stuff in the background. So uh, he prefers that, getting in front of the camera, so he throws me in front. So happy to do that for him as always. And uh, of course, tonight we're continuing with our tutorials on the SFC Film Writing Contest. So if you've been watching for that reason, great. You're going to get some more good insights on how to uh, best pull that together. And if you haven't been, get back onto our, um, our uh, YouTube channel and uh, watch a, or the uh, Facebook page and watch a few more of those previous episodes to get a little bit more idea of what you should be doing. And just a reminder, of course, that the uh, February deadline's coming up soon. We only select one script each month right up to August of this year, August 2020. We've already done um, three, I believe, Masood, that three? Yep. yep. Three? Yep. Three so we did three, and if you watched last week, you'll uh, know who those winners were. So congratulations once again to those three people. And you could be the next one for February. So just make sure you get that uh, entry in very soon, because it's nearly time for that. And if you're not sure what to look for, remember, go to the sfcfilms.com website and uh, go down to menu and look at festivals. All the information's there on how to enter the contest and uh, what you should be doing to put it all together. So go ahead and do that. Now, as I mentioned, we're here to have a bit more of a chat around how to pull uh, these uh, uh, optimistic sci-fi scripts together. And of course, we're gonna talk to one of the judges who's involved in that. We have Russell Lee here. Hello. So big welcome, Russell. Thank Thanks you for family. joining us. And thank you also for being part of the judging panel for this. Pleasure. Last, uh, or a lot, few episodes ago, you heard me interview Marissa Martin, who gave you some fantastic information around that. So I'm sure you're gonna get much more of that as well today. A little bit about Russell. He's, an, he's obviously one of our judges. He's also uh, the writer of the uh, many award-winning films, including the SFC original Man in the Moon which was a lights, camera action, which was, uh, sorry, lights, camera action, which was uh, very well regarded from that. Uh, also host podcast, Film Rhapsody with Dan Sanguinetti, and you probably know Dan if you're a Canberra viewer, uh, who's a prolific filmmaker and film mentor around, around the, uh, the local region. And also writer of Alice, which is a feature film that's mm -hmm. been currently being made by Sanguinetti Media. Sanguinetti Media. Um, Alice has just finished shooting, hasn't it, uh, Russell? We, uh, we just finished the second block. Right. We uh, went down to Goulburn uh, about a month ago yeah. and uh, filmed a, a third of the movie. Right. Uh, basically, the movie, uh, the parts of the movie that, that take place in the main character's house. Great. And uh, we're heading back down to Goulburn in a couple of months to get some more done. We'll be mm. shooting some more in Canberra. And um, so it's, it's the next few months. We're going to be uh, busy as busy. So Goulburn, pretty excited about having uh, being on a film set. They've been very welcoming. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> no, and I've heard I've heard good things from the from cast members around that too. So, oh yeah. Um, I know it's going to be a, a pretty good uh, thing to look, came, look out it for. It came out looking fantastic. Yeah, I'm very happy. Yeah, and it's good to see stuff coming out of Canberra like that, isn't oh, it? Oh yeah. 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 So as a writer, you've um, you've probably seen a few um, Canberra filmmakers um, having a go at different things, and uh, you think we're improving as, as the years well, go ahead? We're getting there. Um, yeah. it's, it's, it's a hard thing to do, because you know, there's not a lot of money going around, mm -hmm. and that's always the big problem. Of so course. a lot of people are just sort of getting together and supporting each other. Yeah. Um, you know, we've got wonderful fil um, film festivals like LCA that are really supporting mm. the industry, and um, a lot of people like Dan Sanguinetti, uh, Silver Sun Pictures that are pushing the boundaries and they're yeah. really trying to do something mm. to um, further Good. get everything going. So, yeah. And of course, we need writers to make that happen too. So thank you for being your, they're your always participation. Helpful, you know? And of course, this is a place where us filmmakers help each other to create optimistic sci-fi uh, for inspiring a better future. So in that sort of vein, I'm going to ask... Uh, I'm going to ask Russell just a few questions around that, but more broadly, Russell, mm -hmm. what would your tips be to uh, up and coming writers, not, not just in this optimistic sci-fi genre, but uh, what what uh, some of your advice from the hours and countless thankless uh, times that you spent <laughs> doing this? Um, don't. Um, <laughs> okay. Always my first piece of advice: yeah. um, tr try to find something better to do. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, if you want to keep your sanity, don't be a writer. Um, if you're going to be a writer, um, just go for it. I mean. You, it's it's kind of one of those things where you kind of you can have any kind of idea as, as when it's still on the script any idea costs nothing mm. so you can just go for it and write like the most balls to the wall high budget thing you want to want to do and maybe you know 
Maybe they will pick it up. Maybe it'll happen. Maybe mm. it won't, but mm. what the hey? It, but it all comes down to just going for it. Mm. You know, you got nothing to lose. You know, you, the, the more time you put into it, of course, the better you get. The old adage of mm. uh, 10,000 hours and you're an expert. Mm. Um, so, of course, the more you do, the better you get at it, the more yeah. easier things come, the more you try, the more you realize, okay, this didn't work, mm. I'll try this. Yeah. So that, that would be my primary advice, just go for it, just, everyone's got a great idea, mm. you know, you never know where it work could lead. Yeah. If you, so if you never get any better if you don't make a start, right? Exactly, so exactly, yeah. Empty that brain of all that yeah. creative thought. And it, then... it's, it's the old thing, you know, it's like some people are destined, uh, a question of destiny and mm. predetermination and that stuff, well, you can be destined to be the greatest actor in the world, but if you don't take any acting classes, if you don't go out there and mm. try, you're never going to get anywhere. And we'll never get known. Yeah. And what about um, getting the, those scripts out there? What's uh, what's your sort of advice for that? Lord, <laughs> I'm still I'm still struggling with that. That's mm. that's my biggest th- my biggest thing because I've written five movies. Right. Um, and one of them is still in the draw. Right. Um, still got some more work to do on that, and it's it's a difficult thing because mm. the whole industry, I guess, is based on the whole thing that you can't really get anywhere to get an agent, you can't get an agent to sure. get in somewhere. Yeah. That sort of, you know, chicken mm. and the egg thing. Mm. So um, really, I, I think it's just a matter of just making stuff on your own, whether it's shorts for yeah. film festivals, for things like F- FC films. Um, the more you get out there, the more people see, the more mm. people know who you are. Yeah. Like five, I've been in the industry for almost five years now. Um, and, you know, people still, you know, I'm still getting my name out there. I'm still getting things, and luckily, you know, things are starting to roll. And um, I suppose it all comes down to, to networking with uh, with different people that that, uh, that always helps. Yeah, that yeah. Always so, helps. but not only in the fact of like trying to get something out there, but there was people out there that also inspire your own creativity, I presume. Exactly. Yeah. But also the fact that um, on the you've covered the writing side, but there's filmmaking side. People are mm-hmm. sort of finding trying to find things to film. So. Yeah. If you network with them, you'll never know what you might find. You help them, they help you. Exactly right. Yeah. Everyone yeah. gets a boost up. Yeah, and we're in a great community for that in Canberra. I think uh, yeah. there's a lot of stuff going on. If you're not involved in it, you really should just jump on to some of the Facebook groups uh, as well as um, just talk to people like Russell or anyone that uh, is involved in filmmaking. Yeah. We're going to get now into more specifics about the uh, Optimistic Sci-Fi okay. Writing Contest because that's what we're here about, mm-hmm. of course. And just a reminder, viewers, that uh, if you have any questions, please throw them out. I know Masood is really keen to yell at me with those questions, so <laughs> looking forward to that. He'll uh, let me know when the questions are coming and we'll bounce them off Russell right. and see what we can do. But for now, uh, Russell, the um, immediate question is, what are your top tips for writing better optimistic sci-fi scripts, which of course, this is what this contest is about? Well, it's always a, a, about hope. It's always about that, that kernel of hope and, mm. and that spark of, of promise for me. Um, you know, you, you see it in shows like Star Trek and Doctor Who, where do you want, I guess it's, it comes down to the, the optimism of optimistic sci-fi, is yeah. where do you want the world to be? Mm. Where do you want it to, to go? It, it, you, you envision that in yourself and you like it, your hopes, your dreams, put them on the page. It's one of those uh, begin with the end in mind sort of things. Exactly, it? definitely. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So um, that's definitely a, a great thing to do. You, you envision the, the, the hope you want to have and, mm. and make it come true in fiction, hopefully it'll mm. translate into the real world. Um, I guess when it comes to short, shorts, you want to, you want to immediately hook someone in. Yeah. Because you, know, you, can, you can write 1,000 page, oh God, 1,000 <laughs> page scripts, oh my God. Uh, you, you can write really long scripts with detailed things and epic stuff, but when it comes to shorts, you've got to get to the point. Yeah. You yeah. only have, Six you haven't got time pages. for a big backstory, have you? Exactly. Yeah. More often, it's it's one or two scenes, mm. so you know you don't have the time for flowery stuff. You just got to get straight to the mm. point. Mm. Yeah, I oh. find that's good. Good. And um, anything else from that? So, if you have you done some shorts? Just I know you've written some great feature films, but what about I've shorts? I've written a few shorts, not yeah. a lot. Yeah. Really, the only one that has been made was Man of the Moon. Right. Yeah, Super which was yeah. which is great. Yeah. 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 So, and how um, did you find that creative process? That was interesting. Um, Dan, I, um, Dan Sanguinetti and I talked for a, a bit about what we wanted to achieve. Mm. Um, we definitely sat down and said, okay, we, we want to tug on the heartstrings. Mm. That was the big thing straight away. Mm. Um, we knew the anniversary of the moon landing was coming up, so that, of course, was going to play a big role in the part. And we knew that with looking back on the history of the moon landing, on 
the heartstrings idea that family was going to play a big part in mm. it. I came up with an idea and um, presented it to Dan. He and Masu tossed it around and basically reached in and got the core of the idea I had mm. and we crafted a story together mm. that um, everyone seemed to like. Oh, good. So look, I suppose the message from that also is even for, for, the, for this contest, but for any short film writing, don't stand there alone and try and work it out yourself. Yeah. If you've got an o overall concept and a vision in mind, yeah. discuss it with others because their, their interpretation of how they would film that, for example, mm -hmm. will also help inspire how Write, the story will come together. Writing can be a very isolating mm. kind of thing because it's usually you, laptop, yeah. in a room. Mm. Eventually, you've you got to share it with things. And more often than not, than not, when it comes to writing, you're too close to your own stuff. Mm and you can't see the forest. The trees, exactly, yeah. you need another pair of eyes to say, yeah. okay, this is a cool idea, but why is that Tyrannosaurus Rex on the tricycle? <laughs> Makes no sense. <laughs> and no matter how many times you say, well, it seemed like a good idea at the time, yeah. it had no place in a political drama. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anything else, um, Russell, that you might want to add to uh, help these uh, up and coming short film writers? I guess writers? along with get, getting to the point you want to revolve it around one character. You don't really have the time right. for a lot of stuff. You, you want to have as tight an idea as possible. So right. you, know, you get, get, to your, get to your punch, you get one character, you want, it to, you want to care about this character. And of course you don't have a lot of time, mm. so that does help getting to the point. Yeah. That's really my biggest thing when it comes to shorts. You, you want to come in with an idea and basically Sharpen it to the point you can get. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you, as you say, you've only got those few minutes to capture the attention. It's very difficult. Even though you see a lot of it on your paper, you th it, you've got it in your head what it looks like in the background, but the viewers won't have that. I think more often than not, we don't really understand just how difficult a short storytelling can be. Because mm. you can you can ramble on for ages, mm. as I tend to like to do, mm. um, in, in a long form screenplay, but when you come down to a short film, you've got to get to the point. Yeah. Yeah. Good advice. So, Short and sweet, that's what this is about, it's a short, optimistic sci-fi. And again, remind me, Masood, it's five pages, isn't it? The, that we've it's made? five pages. Five pages. So five pages of script. Um, it gives you uh, a little bit of intensity to work with in that short time. So really take these tips on board from Russell and certainly from the other judges as we've interviewed them. But uh, I think that is very wise advice. Masood, do we have any questions at this point? Yeah, so I'll... Uh, I'll Tell, I'll, I'll shout out the questions yep. in order that we get them. Okay. Uh, so first of all, um, Terry, Michael, uh, Mick, and Matthew are online. Hi Hello. Terry, Mike, Mick, and Matthew. Nice to have you uh, viewing us again live. Yep. And for those who view us later, what, were, what else were you doing? But thank you for coming <laughs> to us eventually. <laughs> okay. Uh, so first question. Yep. Um, tools, script writing tools, what does Russell recommend? Ah, okay. Script writing tools, what do you recommend, Russell? Well, um, I, first off, you, you, a good screen, um, script writing program is a whole lot of um, stress taken off your shoulders. Mm. When I first wrote my first script, it was on Microsoft Word. Right, okay. And <laughs> that... <laughs> I, Might as well just had a pen and paper. It, it turns out I'm a bit of a, a format yeah. Nazi. Yeah. Didn't know it at the time, but it's a lot of tabs and realigning things. Mm. So when you have a program like Final Draft, which of course isn't cheap, it's a few hundred dollars. Right. Of, then you have Soltex and other programs that don't cost a lot of money or are free. Mm. It, it just takes the stress out. You know, the, it looks correct. Um, of course, when you get it to a higher level, mm. you know, that's often, often one of the things that people will see. They'll, they'll see a script. It's not formatted correctly. They, they don't even, take it seriously. They yeah. won't even pay attention to it. Yeah. Just it's like any job away. application, so to speak, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So if it looks good, it saves you the, the, the hassle of it. You've got it all laid out. So definitely, you, know, you want to get a good, good screenplay um, formatting program. Yep. Uh, like I said, um, you have your final drafts, it costs a lot, down to your cell texts, it costs nothing. Mm. So it's definitely an app you want to get. Right. But they, people can hunt for those uh, online anyway. Oh right? yeah, they're, they're abundant. Yeah. But you, the ones you recommended certainly are the prime tools for those people who are mm -hmm. pretty serious about making this happen. Definitely, definitely. And look, I would, I would suggest, of course, that take that advice because uh, this is like your CV. Like mm -hmm. if you were job hunting, you'd need a good CV. Yeah. Uh, and uh, having the proper formatted script will be your CV as you're presenting it to people who don't know you from anything. 
So um, it really it, just it comes all... down to taking a whole lot of stress off yourself. It just yep. makes it easier, so you mm. can worry about all the other problems that come with writing. Right. <laughs> so you got all you can spend all the time on the creative process as opposed to the technical yes. process, yes. right? What's uh, what's next, uh, Masood? What else we got? Uh, so this question is more on the submission side of it. So yep. um, how do we submit? Yep. Is the question? Yep. Um, so just mention that um, uh, they can go to the sfcfilms.com. Yep. Festival section. Yep. And it's all in there. Button to film freeway. Okay. So, so if you didn't if you didn't get that, so if you go to the sfcfilms.com uh, web web page, uh, go to the um, menu which leads you to festivals. And if you go to Film Freeway from that, that tells you all about how to submit your entry. So go follow those steps and uh, you should be okay. Yep. Next. Okay. Next question. We've got lots yes. of questions tonight, Masood. <laughs> yeah. It's great. So some of them are actually from me. So, so oh. this one is actually from me. So uh -huh. uh, oh, Masood has a question. Files. How do we uh, start uh, developing good characters? How do you start developing good characters? Yeah. Hmm. It's a very good question. Um, if anyone has the answer. Um, <laughs> um, for me, it came from years of watching TV and movies myself. Yeah. You, you sort of learn by osmosis. Yeah. Um, you learn very quickly what doesn't work. Mm. Um, in, one of my, in my first um, feature screenplay, um, I had a character sitting at a table at a party for way too many pages, doing absolutely nothing, not driving the story, not doing anything, not contributing in any way possible because I didn't want him to unveil the killer. Right. And I could not think for the life of me how to keep him engaged in the story without having him run back into the party and say, hey, there's a killer here. <laughs> Everyone get out. Um, so you, that, that always is the first thing you want to do. You want to write engaging characters that drive the story. Mm. Um, I, th I think, you know, aside from watching uh, movies and seeing how it's done and sort of getting a feel for that, you have people around you and mm. things you like about them, things you don't like about them. Mm. You, you basically, it's all osmosis when it comes down to you, you basically inherit everything else. And it's like, um, I remember hearing some rock star talking about how you basically, you mimic someone else's style until you develop your own. Yeah. And that's kind of what it comes down to. You, you kind of put you, your, your friends, your family, um, Doc Brown, whatever, mm. ever on the page in your first stories and you, until you work out how to create your own and, right. and, and find ways to... So not only um, it being inspired by, by other films mm -hmm. and, and TV shows of, of the genre, you could obviously pick up on novels and things like that, oh, yeah. which, which yeah. Uh, if you've enjoyed a certain author, for example, yeah. and the way they put their characters that, together. That's always that's the, way, the, the piece of um, writing advice you hear from a lot of writers is read, 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 yeah, watch, watch, yeah, watch. Yeah. The more you, the more you in, absorb, the more mm. you get down. And it goes back to what you said earlier too, Russell, about not being in isolation. So not, mm. not just in your immediate network of, of filmmakers, but also yeah. in the greater community of, of the genre. And in a way, yeah. it's, it goes back to the, um, the old saying of write what you know. Yeah. If you only know sitting in a room staring at a laptop for 10 hours, mm. you're kind of not going to write an engaging story. Mm. you got to get out there and live and experience mm. both good and bad. That's right. Yeah. Oh, good. All right. Masood, that was a great question, by the way. Thank you <laughs> well for done, that. Well done, Masood. That led us into a nice uh, genre, the direction there. What, so um, a couple more people joined. Um, who have we got? Talk a little bit, uh, give them a chance to ask questions. So Lynette and Sam have joined. Hi, hi Lynette and Sam. Hello. Nice to have you on board tonight. So maybe chat a little bit? Yeah, sure. Look, um, if, in case Lynette, if you just join us, I'm sure you'll follow up later on. But uh, we are here for SFC Films Live. And of course, uh, this is all about um, the optimistic sci-fi writing contest. If you're not familiar with it, the short film uh, writing contest where every month we uh, draw a finalist and uh, up to the end of uh, August of this year, 2020. And then from that, we'll be picked a major winner. Prizes yet to be announced. That's uh, yet to come. But uh, in the very least, I think the reward will be just in getting something together uh, and um, you know, just putting it out there. If, particularly if you've never done that before and you've really had a, a, a desire to do so, do this as a safe place to do it, all right? You're gonna be getting some good feedback as well and uh, you'll learn a lot from the, the process. And as Russell said earlier, just get out there and do it because mm -hmm. that's the only way you're gonna know um, what feels right for you. Okay, so let's keep going with that. So Russell, we've talked a little bit about how to um, put your story together. 
Any other tips beyond, okay, so we've talked about this all the way together. Obviously, they're going to enter a, a, a contest here. But outside of that, where would you go with a, a script? What would, what would be your tips about where to take it from there? Well, there, there's, there's plenty of competitions out there mm. that you, you see from uh, Final Draft's Big Break competition mm. to uh, the Monty Miller Award, I think it is, that the Australian Writers Guild do. Um, and they are always accepting, of course, with, with a fee, um, screenplays. And mm. it's a good, good, good place to, to get it to people that might find it interesting and might, might make it and, you know, God knows where that goes. Mm. Um, a- approaching some producers also helps. Um, oftentimes they have their own stuff and don't want to be bombarded with stuff, but you never can, you never can tell. There's always, there's always someone out there that's interested in stuff. Mm. So you, you, it's... It, I guess on the on the on the grassroots level, making your own stuff does help. Yeah. Um, of course, a lot of producers don't want to be bothered by by up and comers and, yeah, and the course. stuff they want. They, they want to yeah. keep a key the goldsmith in in, in, in business. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, I, I think I think mostly getting out there and, and trying trying yeah. with the competitions, uh, trying with the uh, the blacklist, which is a, a website that accepts screenplays and has people. Uh, give opinions on them, and industry professionals do tend to check them out and yeah. keep an eye out. Right. Um, there's all kinds of avenues. I think. And of course, if you, you don't, if if you never know, unless you try, do you? exactly, yeah, yeah. So get out there and, and do that. that. That's where it really comes down to. You give it a try. You never know what can happen. Yeah. So uh, look, as you, if you missed it before, um, Russell was a writer of A Man in the Moon, which is a very uh, LCA acclaimed uh, piece that was uh, done. Was it last year? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah last, last year. year. So it was really uh, We won really, the, uh, really the well audience received. award um, amongst uh, a few others. So beyond the, that appearance at LCA, where, where did that go, just out of interest? This might be a, a way for other people to think about where they take their films to. Um, where it went, I think it's on the SFC website. Yes, it is. Um, yeah. so you can check, check it out, out, Man in the Moon. Uh, we submitted it to a few festivals. Mm. Didn't get a, um, a chance to look in. I think it also played at the Canberra Film, um, Canberra Short Film Festival. Right. Yeah. Um, so it, it went a few places. Yeah. Um, you know, not, not to the moon, but you know, <laughs> <laughs> it, it got out there and people really seemed to enjoy it. So we we're mm. very happy with it. Mm. And of course, that way you also get more in, more inspiration and feedback about how yeah. that went too. So that's it definitely cool. helps. Yeah. Look, so to summarise a couple of the quick points that um, that Russell made. So just get out there and do it. Uh, unless you uh, unless you start putting your thoughts on paper or on. On, on the laptop. It could be terrible, but you, you, Absolutely. Know, you don't learn yeah. until you fail. And draw from the characters around you in your real life, the ones you, uh, you see in the genres that, you, uh, that appeal to you, uh, certainly TV shows, feature films, and novels too. So look at that. Mm-hmm. Start to network and collaborate with um, not only your fellow writers, but uh, up and coming filmmakers, student films, all those, all, there's a whole community of people involved They're all out in, there and they're all very willing to, um, to engage. Yeah. Absolutely, and you can find them all, there's different Facebook pages, for example, I know locally here in Canberra, uh, where you can connect with people like that, you'll find out more about what's going on. And of course you've got um, places like YouTube and Vimeo that mm. of course you can submit things to and then yeah. just put them up there and, and see what what sticks? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You never know. It could be the next big thing. That not be yeah. not be your uh, motivation, mm-hmm. but uh, in the very least, getting it out there gives you feedback, mm-hmm. and you'll know if you're on the right track for the way you think you're developing uh, a, a film or a character. This is a good way to do it. Mm-hmm. Masood, how are we going? Um, so Mick just says hi and wants to thanks Russell for his time. Thank you, Mick. Thank you, Mick. <laughs> Mick's always a regular viewer, so thank you, Mick, and I know you appreciate what we do here. Thank and, you uh, for not tuning out because I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> no, it has been great having Russell here today. So I think we're about to wrap on that. So any, no more questions at this point, Masood? All no, done? No more questions. Fine. But of course, uh, remember, you can always uh, throw some questions after the event. We can address them next time we're on SFC Live. But the next video, we'll be chatting with the, uh, the final SFC Riding Contest judge, which is Carol Segers. All right, so Karel Segers, it'll probably be Masood hosting that one for you. So we'll get him out from behind the uh, camera into in front of it. So that could be a big event in itself, but mm-hmm. um, I'm done for now. So nice to, <laughs> nice to have you here. Thank you once again, Russell. Real Thank pleasure you, to have you here. Really appreciate the advice. Take, take all this on board. Go through the uh, previous uh, discussion we've had about the SFC Film Contest 
And um, if you're really keen about doing this, just jump on board, just do it, all right? Have fun. Remember, this is where we are to help each other create optimistic sci-fi for uh, inspiring a better future. Thanks again for joining us on SFC Live, and thank you, Russell. Thank you, Masood. We'll see you next time. See you, Masood. Bye. Yesterday I fell asleep at night I woke up in the spaceship traveling at the speed of light Everything